Hi guys! I'm back! I'm back! We're gonna finish up our awesome little noodle board! Look at how freaking amazing it looks! All right, so I'm gonna give everybody a chance to pop on. I'm gonna go ahead and spread the love, do all the things. You guys can do the same. We're gonna pick our winner right now. I'm gonna re-pour all my paints so that those of you that didn't see this yesterday can kind of see it from start to finish again. So, and then of course you can go back ooh, and watch it, watch um, yesterday's live. So you can watch it again from the beginning and see how we got this super awesome look. So let me plug this in. I was supposed to do that before I pressed live, but I just, I just don't like to wait for things. Hey, Gloria. Hi, Brenda. Hey, guys. All right. Hi, Anne. We're gonna pick our winner from yesterday. Was it yesterday? Yeah, yesterday's live. And then we're gonna continue on with this. But I wanted to show you guys how cool it looks. Let me spread the love. I'm really glad I do a lot of this online because I can't tell you. Um, I cannot tell you how hard it is. Thank you guys for sharing. So since we're gonna get dirty today, Please share, make sure that it is public because what I'm doing is I'm going in and I am just writing everybody's names down from, what the heck, from the shares and then we'll pick the winner live. Hey Tracy, thank you Jamie, thank you Brenda for sharing. Hi Lisa, hey Michelle, hey Cindy, are you guys excited to see this? Because I'm excited to see this. Um, I glued it together and I'm going to show you guys how. What the heck? I can't find. Hold on. What? I can't find my thing. Hold on. Give me a quick second so I can share this really quick. Hello. Hi. Hey, Cindy. Hey, Carol. Hey, Kaylee. Uh, Kylie. Sorry. I was, mi I was mixing Kylie and Haley at the same time. It's been so long since I've seen you. I know, guys. So if you didn't know, my live schedules have changed, obviously. So they're going to be a little off and they're going to be a little different just because that's the best I can do now. Um, they will be early Saturday and Sunday for some early morning crafts. I don't know if it's going to be early, but thank you guys for sharing. Um, it'll be early and then Mondays and Tuesdays will be evenings as always. I know I'm super excited. So I'm going to, let me just share this really quick. And then I am going to show you how I attach the boards and we're going to put, finish it all together. Okay. If you did not see this one, let me know and you, or just go back to yesterday's live and you'll actually be able to see it from the beginning. Hey Kim, thanks for sharing. Hey Anne, thank you. Thanks guys. Y'all are the best. All right. I think I'm good. Let me pull this up. So we're still going to see, look at how awesome it came out. So if you guys didn't know, it's just with foam boards. Okay. So I'm going to show you how we finish this up and then we're going to attach it and then we'll do our little, um, our little design of course. Right. Hey, Tabitha. Okay, so I got all of these strips that we did all the painting on and that stuff. And let me show you how I attached it. Um, I still need to do the side, so we might finish that up today because it is kind of messy. It's a messy project, at least for me while I'm live. Ooh. And then I literally just attached it with some cardboard pieces with the glue. So we're going to totally finish it up together. And then, of course, we're going to put our stencil on and do all that stuff, our transfer. Um, so I'm excited to see how it finishes or how it looks in the end. But for now, let's finish this up. And this is for everybody who didn't get to see it. Hey, Judy. Hey, Tabitha. Hi, Shelby. Is it Shelby? Shelby or Shelby? It's Shelby, right? Thank you guys for sharing. Yeah, guys, so we're still going to do the giveaway, but my hands are going to be dirty. So all you have to do is share. Um, make sure that you share it to a public place because all I did was go in. Let's pick our winner from yesterday. All I did was go in and, and look, we didn't even have, it said we had 70 shares, but these are the names that showed up. So I don't know how, it has to be a public place, which is really weird. I don't know how to fix that, but we'll figure it out. These are the names 
that popped up and showed that they shared. It's super weird, but so Gabby Gomez and I just have to reach out to her and I will reach out to her. My hands were super dirty yesterday, so we're kind of doing it a little bit different. All right. So the same paints I'm going to use. I did a little bit of research yesterday. Yes, Shelby. So Shelby with a C then, not Shelby with an S, right? Okay. So I did a little bit of research yesterday because I wanted to find out if you guys could use a different paint because this is really hard to find right now since everybody is crafting. I'm going to leave it out like this, but these are at Walmart. It's the clear wax, antique wax, and the chalk ink, okay? If you need a picture, just let me know and I'll send you a picture. Um, or you can take a screenshot or whatever. But that's what I used. But they have another brand that is, no, it's not raining. It's cloudy, but no rain. Um, they have another brand that's called Folk Art. Thank you, Miss Ann. Thank Hi, Chris. Hey, Lisa. I don't know if I said hi already. They have another brand um, called Folk Art. And it, from what I've heard, it's very comparable. Okay, so if you can't find this paint, you can do it this way. So in case you guys didn't see this from yesterday, I'm gonna show you how I get that textured look and you're kind of gonna see it just come along. But I'm gonna use my nail to put those holes in. And it's actually pretty sturdy, okay? So I'm just gonna put some random holes and some random little gashes and everything. It rained here, Michelle, yesterday for like, literally when I took the picture and sent it to you guys, it rained and then it stopped. I was like, okay, well, hey, Patricia. And then we're just going to put some holes. It's just like wood, guys. Like, you know how they have like rigged, like weird lines and just like all kind. They're roughed up. So we're just doing the same exact thing. And if you don't have like a piece of wood to look at, like I have my contact paper that I can kind of look at. They have like little gashes here. Just random stuff, right? That you're, you can't really see right now. I don't know if it's too far, if you guys can see it. But we're going to keep, we're going to keep it. So I use an X-Acto knife for the cuts. It's not super smooth. So maybe a regular blade. I don't know. I'm still working on that. You guys can learn from my flaws. Hi, Mary. Thank you guys for sharing. How's everyone doing? What'd you guys have for dinner? My husband and I had to go run errands today. So we always, every time we do that, we go out to eat because we don't take the kids out. Um, so we went out to eat, but we're, I'm getting hungry. Hey, Paula. Hi, Stephanie. Okay, so I'm gonna put my paints together. I honestly just left it. I took off, I had poured a lot of black paint, so I just scooped it back in there. But I left it here because I'm like, wow, I'm using the same paint, so I'm not too worried about it. But I'm not gonna put as much because I really didn't need that much and we're doing such a smaller spot. So you guys are gonna love this. If you didn't see it last, if you didn't see it yesterday, I highly recommend go watch yesterday's live because it's like the, it it's, we did what, six planks, if not more. I'm gonna put a little bit of wax and it just pours a lot. So next time don't, don't let it pour so much. Just do this. So the wax you do need to mix it with your paint because you're not, you're not soaking it with acrylic paint, guys. You're not painting it. Like you don't want it soaked because then you're gonna get the boards, the foam boards so soaked that they're gonna start to curl or like warp and you don't want that, okay? Thanks guys for sharing. Thanks Roxanne. Thank you, Miss Mary. So just so you guys know, we're doing it a little bit a little bit different. Actually, let me put my, my deal up here. Um, and then we're gonna do the vintage laurel wreath, which is one of my favorites. Once we do that one, obviously I'm gonna post a deal for the laurel wreath in my VIP group because it is retiring and it's amazing and you guys need it. Especially if you wanna do something like this. Is it really gonna make me put in my password? Sorry. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit of the ink, which is the black part. We're gonna do the brown first, which is the antique, and then we're gonna to move to the black one. I just realized I forgot to do something, dang it. I will eat my late dinner in a few hours because it's too hot. Oh, it's so hot, you guys. Like, I, I don't even want to go outside. We went today and I was wearing like, I guess like sweatpants. And I was like, this sucks. I don't want to go anywhere. Hi, Angela. Hey, Stephanie. Hey, guys. Okay, so I put this here. 
Um, I'm trying to pin it if it lets me pin it. No, it doesn't let me pin it for whatever reason. Dang it. Let me do something. If I remove my YouTube channel, I think it'll let me pin it. Whoa, whoa. Sorry guys, I just wanted to get this up because I'm not gonna be like, do this, do that the whole time, okay? See if that works. Probably not, but. Hey Angela, made the kids Parmesan crusted French bread grilled cheese. Jeez, that sounds like really good. My kids are super picky. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit of this, like literally just a little bit, because we really don't need that much. Just be careful, because it does pour out super fast. I would say, I think even that's gonna be enough, because you're gonna see that I really don't want a lot of it. I did save my same sponges. I just put them in a bag, so I can try to get as many uses as up, out of them. I don't know why it won't let me pin my comment, but I'm gonna leave it there and just a little bit of brown. We're gonna do our brown first, okay? And our brown is to give us just kind of like, a, just to like cover the white part so you don't see the white seeping in, if that makes sense. Sometimes I don't make any sense, okay guys? Thank you for sharing. I don't know why it won't let me pin it, but it's okay, you guys know the deal, right? Okay, so I have my brown sponge that we're gonna use first and then my black sponge. And this, we're just gonna do these two planks, let them dry, glue them together, and then we'll do our chalking on it. Um, but I didn't wanna do it all in one sitting because I still wasn't sure how it was gonna work. So it's still, okay, so it still has paint, it's still moist. Let's see, let me pull this up here and turn the volume off, hold on really quick. I had steak and shrimp with rice and veggies. Dang. I didn't make it though, so. It's always, I feel like food is always better when you don't make it. All right, so let's do this. Ooh, we can, we're getting rain, guys. Okay, so we're gonna do a little bit of wax with our little bit of our antique, antique, okay? And then you just sponge it out. You're really just kind of like staining, okay? You don't wanna soak it in a ton of paint. Get these parts where you did your holes. So Hector didn't really like these little lines. I like them because I feel like they're making they make the wood look real vintagey. But I don't know. Maybe we'll see once we put it all together. So I'm gonna do this part, let it dry, and then we'll work on the next one so we can do them in sections. It really didn't take that long to dry yesterday either. I need maybe another hole. You can make it as vintage as you want. You don't have to use these exact colors. If you want brighter wood, darker wood, like mahogany wood, whatever you want, you don't have to use these exact ones, but I wanted to show you what colors I use to get that finish that I did. Cheated ordered pizza. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I really don't like cooking dinner anymore. Um, are you kind of going over what you did with all the other boards? Yeah, so Judy, we are gonna finish what we did yesterday, let me show you. So I put it together, but we're making a noodle board. So we're doing right here, we're gonna glue it together so I can show you how I fasten them together. And then we're gonna put our vintage laurel wreath. So we're finishing it up pretty much. But yeah, I'm starting from the beginning because I know a lot of people weren't on because we were early. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. I don't need it like heavily coated because this is just like a light base. But you can see, hey, Miss Ruth, I got your check today, okay? I just got it. We just got it before we got home. And you can see how my cuts aren't very clean right here. I'm not super worried about it. Like you can clean this up. I know we're getting some rain. I hear it. So nice. But yeah, we're just doing another little like... Um, if you guys don't have one of these self-healing mats, I highly recommend it. You can get it from my shop. Um, and you can comment shop and you'll get the link. If you are a customer, you'll, play, you'll pay flat rate shipping. Honestly, I think it might be <laughs> cheaper to get it from my site because it's only $6.95 shipping. And these bad boys are 18 by 24, so they're pretty large. But this is where I did all of my cuts. It's pretty awesome. I didn't have to worry about messing up my desk or anything like that. So I do recommend them. I'm sorry, my head is in the camera. <laughs> just 
saw that. Okay, I did see it yesterday. Okay, cool, yeah. Hey, Teresa, thank you. Yeah, so it's gonna be just a continuation of that one. And see, I put a lot more brown on this one, so we can kind of just take it off, or you can just get some more wax and kind of go from there. Hi, Teresa. Hey, Jennifer. So good. I love fresh grated Parmesan. Just grab a loaf of French bread from the bakery, slice it, and butter. You're making a grilled cheese. And then that's pretty awesome. That's a good idea. I might try that. I love cheese in general, to be honest. Like cheese and and just butter. Cheese and butter on everything. And that's 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 what I go for. Okay, so you can see this one is a little bit darker. But since I still have this on here, I'm just going to maybe wipe it down a little bit. And I used a wipey the other day, and that seemed to work really good too. But I'm not super worried about how dark it is. Looks good. They're about the same, about the same um, color, I would say. My kids don't even like grilled cheese. Isn't that the weirdest thing ever? I'm like, what? How do you not like grilled cheese? All right, and you guys notice I didn't do the sides. I want these to be darker, so I'm just gonna do these with the black. So let's see if this one's dry. It's dry. I guess it's because it's not a ton of paint. So now we're gonna go in with the black. So you've got this brown coat. You can probably stip, um, skip this part if you don't want the same look that I got, but you're gonna see that you see that, that light antique wood there, okay? It's so weird because I can pin everyone else's comment, but I can't pin mine for some reason. Let me try it again. Let me try it. You've never lived in Wisconsin living cheese. I sure have, Jennifer. I lived in Kenosha. They used to call, call me all kinds of names when I came back. <laughs> but I think it's more because my family's Hungarian. So that's like, that's their, that's their, that's their, their dish, that's their stuff. Okay, so I put a little bit of black. I went a little overboard with this the other night, so <clears throat> I'm gonna put more wax than anything and just kind of sponge out that black. That's why there's black everywhere. Thanks, Stephanie. Yeah, guys, just spread the love and I'll be picking winners the next live, so tomorrow at 6.30, we'll pick the winners from everybody that shared. Your kids don't either? That's like the weirdest thing. That was like my go-to when I was younger because it was so easy. Literally like I could do it myself. I could make it for myself. All right. So you can probably, I didn't have enough holes in here for me to do, to hold on to it. But, and if you want to make it darker, make it darker. If you want to make it lighter, but you can see how you have that brown finish. Oh shoot, hold on. The brown finish in the background. And I really love this. I'm gonna put it close to my other board so I can see if I'm on the right track with the color, okay? If you wanna go, make sure you get in these spots right here. The makeup brush, the makeup sponges would probably be best for that. And then we're gonna do our sides. Your info is already pinned. Yeah, I just did it, no? It wouldn't let me pin it earlier, so I just did it right now. For whatever reason, it didn't let me do it. So I'm just going to do the sides. Um, the other one that we did yesterday, I didn't go too deep into doing the sides because they were going to be put together. I literally glued them all together, but these are going to be used as my like my woods that are hold my wood pieces that are holding it together. So I do want to get the sides of these because you'll be able to see these. My comments aren't loading. All right, I think that's good. We'll compare it right now to the other board. You guys, I'm obsessed with doing this. We're gonna do so many more. I just got some craft sticks so we can, um, you, how, I can show you how to use those as like a frame so you guys can make super cute 
your own surfaces for really inexpensive. I love it. And you can put the transfers on it because they'll fit on them like, like just perfect. The finish will probably be great. All right, so you see it's not a super clean cut. So of course I'm gonna work on that. I'm really not too worried about it because like once you paint it, it should just kind of look like unsanded wood unfinished wood I guess let me get a makeup sponge for this because I feel like that's gonna take too long let me see where I put them all right so I'm gonna do the same thing just a very little black because this is just already super I think this is easier Get in all those nooks and crannies. And just so you guys know, the new catalog order has not gotten here yet. <laughs> it hasn't even shipped, so I'm still waiting. But it's only been like three business days, so three whole business days. All right. So I'm just trying to get inside there so you don't see any white not super worried about it but the more you cover it the more realistic it's gonna look Let's see are you on Instagram I am but I'm so bad at posting on Instagram I really am but yeah it's the same thing Sensity Designs I can't tell you like I used to really like Instagram, but I really like Facebook just because that's where all my peeps are at, you know? So I wanna post on, on Facebook. And I just forget to use Instagram altogether. Oops. Make sure you hold on to it. Okay, I think that looks good. And see, I like these lines, okay? But maybe not everybody else does. Um, so when you're picking out your foam board, just pay attention to that because I think a majority of the ones I got were bent like that, but I don't mind them. I can't wait to try it. You're going to love it. It's so awesome. I'm like hooked already guys. You guys are going to get annoyed watching me do all these. Just kidding. But I'm probably going to have to start doing them not live so that you don't have to watch me do this all the time, but we'll learn different techniques and we'll play with different paints, maybe do some blues and some teals. I'm excited. Okay, so anytime you do the sides, obviously it's gonna kind of run into your wood here. So just kind of, and you can tell it's already drying. See how it's looking darker here? Anytime it add, it's too dark, add a little bit of wax and you can clean that up. I like looking at it in the camera. I feel like you guys get a better view than I do. Um, Facebook isn't letting you see I shared. Really? It doesn't show you there? Well, if you guys just comment shared, don't worry. I'll go in and I'll just do it like that. I don't know why. I, I'm trying to figure out an easier way to do it without spending so much time. All right, so we've got all the sides done. I think we're good. Um, I'm going to let it dry over here. Um, let me match it. Okay, it looks good towards the color. So... This one is already, it was kind of bent, but as um, when I glue it down, it's going to be fine. You put a large pin in the end to hold the board. Put a large pin in the end to hold the board. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. I was using my nail right here, but I didn't have one of those earlier. Okay, let's finish this up so we can glue it and do our chalk in. So I don't know if you guys are friends with me on Facebook, and if you aren't, you, for sure, send me a friend request, but... <laughs> I posted this um, this comment or this post. How long does your significant other take to go to the restroom? And like, I thought it was just my husband. Like I was like, maybe he needs to go to the doctor, you know? But I guess it turns out that it's everyone's husband that takes a long time. So um, we're gonna make a shirt like that. I didn't get, I don't have it ready, but we're gonna make a shirt that says, um, another one of my designers sent it to me. Um, it says, sorry, I was late. My husband had to poop. It's like the story of my life. So this one's super dark. I'm going to add some extra wax. Thank you for sharing. 
I missed it, but did you say if you have to be present following live when you call a winner? No, since I'm not doing it live, I'm just gonna pick the winner and then I'll send you guys a message. As long as like I can reach out to you. Or sometimes like it goes to your request. At least not for today because I'm, I'm gonna get super dirty. So I'm not too worried about it. Okay, so see how this one looks really um, dark? If you add wax to it, you'll actually be able to really move that wax around or that paint so it doesn't just sit there. All right. So looks good. Now we just need to do the sides. Let me match it up with this other one and see if we're on the right track. I really like how these came out. They came out darker. I think they look pretty good. You're getting the same. Let me clean my hands. Thank you, Miss Nikki. Mine takes about 30 minutes. <laughs> Girl, <laughs> that's nothing. Mine takes maybe an hour. Just kidding. But mine and my dad are in and out like clockwork. See? What's, what's, the, what's the problem? It's all men. That's so funny. He went, um, he went right now before I got on and I was like, I'm waiting for you. And he's like, I'm coming. I'm like, okay, Jesus. So we just got to do the sides now. I, you know what? I am just going to start doing that myself. I can only imagine if I disappeared for 30 minutes, even though I kind of do when I come in my lives. That's crazy, but that's good. So we're just gonna go real quick over this. I'm trying to get it the fastest way. If I find a faster way to do this, I'll definitely let you guys know. But if you're just doing this and you're enjoying it, then take your time, of course. It does look super cool, right? I'm so excited that I found this. I thought it was so cool. Especially if you're really into farmhouse, you can do some awesome little designs with it. There's just so much you can do and it's so inexpensive. Um, and I don't do woodwork guys. I honestly have never, I honestly have never even thought about getting a saw. I really don't. I don't want one to be honest. I don't, I have too much to do and cutting wood is like the last thing on my mind, but I love if somebody would cut it for me. So if you don't have that flexibility or just somebody to do that woodwork for you, then this would be like your next best option. So you see how the black comes over? You wanna make sure you clean that up before it dries. And if it does seem to start drying, just get a little bit of wax and re-wet it and you should be able to maneuver it around. A Sharpie? Yeah. Just got my surprise in the mail, have fun. Yay, awesome. I think almost everybody's um, giveaways have gone out, but no joke, my printer has gone out on me. They're not gone out, but I guess I print so much that it's having, it doesn't want to print for me anymore. So I have to get it serviced. Okay, let's do this. Mine's going and read and I think he forgets what he does in there. Yeah, like you forget why you went to the restroom. I know. A Sharpie, now I get what you're saying, duh. It took me a while. There's such a huge delay, guys, it's so annoying. Um, yeah, that's, that's so true, but I'm going to be honest. I, I have a really sensitive, um, nose. So like, there's no way I could do this with Sharpie. Um, I would be smelling it forever and I probably would get sick by the time I'm done with this live. You cut your own wood. Way to go. If you guys can cut your own wood or your husband's do, I mean, that's, that's your money making stuff right there. Wood is so inexpensive. You can cut it and staple it and do all the things with it and you can make some really nice signs with it so that's your I envy those people just kidding but this is a little messy but I, I'm starting to enjoy it my kit will be here Friday yay awesome Tabitha if you guys haven't joined yet and you're still on the fence you need to get in and see all the awesome stuff we've got going on maybe once you see the new transfers um we have i use a little wet wipe because it does help pick up some of the blotchy parts it looks really good he's gonna start cutting wood awesome and if you would 
when I get mine, I was wondering if you would do an IG live with me. Yeah, of course. Honestly, I really need to get on Instagram. I really do. Okay, so I think we just need this part, but of course I will. I'll post my Instagram so maybe we can all go like and follow each other like friends. Home Depot will, won't they? Yes. So Home Depot will do one free cut per um, per like plank that you get. And it's own, but it's only to a certain size. They don't go super small. They just, they have like a couple of rolls here and there. You can pay if you want them to cut it. Um, but I just, I don't like it. I don't like it. I really like this. This is my next best option. Okay, so let me clean up this right here. But yes, Home Depot will cut your wood for you. So if you're doing welcome signs, stuff like that, that's where you want to get your wood. Home Depot and Lowe's. Okay, looks good, right? So let's move our paints away. I don't think I need these anymore. Let me clean my hands. Make sure you guys are sharing. Um, spread the love. Uh, comment below when you do. I'll probably just go based off of your guys' comments. Just so because it's not showing everybody. And I think it's mainly because if your privacy settings are on, um, I'm gonna put this back in here because I don't need it again. Hi, Natalie. If your privacy settings are on, then it's going to show it. Uh, it's not gonna show because you shared it into technically a private group. So we'll figure it out. It's so hard to remember to post to all the sites for me. I have to stick to one, not even Twitter, remember. Oh, yeah, I've never really been into Twitter. It's, like, weird. My husband does it because he follows sports and, and stocks and stuff. And I'm like, okay. All right, so I'm going to put these aside. Um, the, I, you, even then, look at how much paint I used. I still have a ton of paint sitting here that I can put back. And all of this stuff, guys, I got at the Dollar Tree, with the exception of the paint. Um, this paint was super hard to find. So, like I said, the folk art paint in the same colors should give you the same finish. My shares go to Facebook, is that fine? Yeah, of course, no problem. Thanks, I've been trying to learn IG a little bit more for my own business. Yes, so depending on what you sell, Inst honestly, Instagram is where it's at, guys. Um, I like Facebook because I feel like it's an older crowd and what I do is really just mainly for an older crowd. But depending on what you sell, you might wanna want to reach out to Instagram for sure. Okay. I cleaned that mat a little bit, but it's going to be dirty. All right. Let's see. I think it looks pretty good. This is going to be this way. So I'm not worried about exact color or anything like that. Um, I did already cut it to this size. Have you guys ever seen a noodle board? <laughs> so um, in my neighbor down the street, they have a little business where they do woodwork and I love their stuff. Noodle boards are usually about $75, if not more, to do this. So we're gonna make our own. We're gonna glue this. My glue gun is on. So I'm gonna show you how I did the back part. Mine is dog walking, so Facebook is more my avenue. Yeah, it really depends on what you're shooting for. Okay, my hands are semi-clean. So we're gonna do this. Let's do it. Okay, so I'm gonna do, I wanna do the same, about three inches. I'm just gonna measure it really quick so I can make sure I get this. Okay, can't see that at all. Miss Ruth, did you hear me when I said that I got your check? I totally forgot to message you because we had just gotten home and I had to do a phone call and so I did get your check in the mail. I know, I'm so excited. Okay, hopefully you guys can see this enough. I'm trying to move my computer out of the way. Well, so I have to ask you, for those of you that have been watching me for a while, did you guys like when I had this set up in the back where you could see all the stuff I made? <laughs> I'm trying to convince my husband that I need to change my setup again. All right, so I'm just gonna put glue all over this. I was worried that the glue would kind of melt through it, but it doesn't. So I was pretty surprised. Really don't need a ton. Put that there. And 
and then of course hold it down yes i did okay cool awesome feel so old when i'm on ig that's why i'm trying to do more on there <laughs> yeah me too i honestly i'm like i'm not old and then i go do something and i'm like yeah i guess i'm old i guess i'm old then all right, so I put this there. Let's put some fall catalogs on here. This is how I did the other one. I put some catalogs on there and I let it sit for a little bit just so it would flatten out, just so you guys can look at those a little bit. Why not? Yes, right? I like it from when you were at your old house. Yes, so remember when I was at my old house, I only had one screen, but I had all the stuff that I had made, like the current season and everything in the back. I really miss having that set up, but... I don't want to take away from the two screens because I really I really feel like it helps you guys see, um, hold on, see how like how to do stuff and how easy it is. I'm out of glue, my friends. So I don't know. I'm like, <laughs> it's because I'm trying to find an excuse to buy this table that I want. So if you guys can give me an excuse, please do. All right, so let's put this over here. Same thing. All right. Now maybe we'll switch these over here. This is probably my best experience with the glue gun. I didn't burn myself, nothing. I love it. Right? I think it was cool. So I feel like even though I have this one camera, thank you, Miss Patty. Um, even though I have this two cameras, you can still see what's going on in the background. All right. So I'm going to leave this here. Let's get out our wreath. I didn't even see if it's going to fit, but I'm pretty sure it'll fit. So as you guys can tell, this one's pretty beat up. I think I've already, I think it might be dirty too. That's all right. That's all right. We can do it. I'll clean it a little bit. Yeah, that's what I think too. At least with the stuff in the background. Okay, so I think this should be good. Or let me, yeah. So obviously guys, it's foam board. It's not extremely sturdy. So look at how cool. I love it. I love it. So now we're going to chalk on it. And this has like, there's a little bit, I don't know if you can tell that it's not perfectly um, meshed in together but I just feel like it gives you that more rustic look. I freaking love it. Okay, let me move it over because we're gonna clean our transfer really quick so we can put it on. But this literally just made it so much more sturdy. Um, but of course, if you put this on your stove, this is the back, okay? You don't wanna have a ton of stuff on it because this is not gonna be sturdy. This is mainly for show. But it's very lightweight. Um, you don't have to worry about too much. So let me clean this up really quick. It has a little bit of shimmer paste on there. So let's see if we can get it off. But this transfer, guys, is probably one of my favorite. Well, with it on display, people would be more inclined to purchase completed products, initials on different transfers. Right? I feel like that too. I feel like those little projects I have in the background just don't show you that much. So, well, I'm sold. I'm just going to get it then. Thank you, guys. <laughs> All right, so I'm just cleaning up the old paste, you guys. I don't remember the last time I used this, but it's old, okay? Um, I can't, I honestly cannot remember the last time I used it. And I have to tell you, I, um, I don't always clean these bigger ones right away, but that just goes to show that it's okay. And I've always wanted a noodle board, but I'm like, uh, where am I going to put it when I'm done with my stuff? Okay, that looks better. We got off some of that shimmer paste, and it's over here. It is cool, right? Okay. I got one of the transfers. Which one? The new one? Or which, which transfer? Okay, so it's still super duper sticky, and you can tell that I... Stuck it to like a mat in my restroom. Poor, poor transfers. Okay, I think that's the only part I needed to clean. The rest looks okay, but we'll see. All right, so I'm just gonna be gentle. Right? <laughs> I know, my husband was like, I just don't see the point. And I'm like, well, I'm trying to 
trying to find a point for him. All right, I'm gonna do black. It fits perfectly. Okay. I'm gonna do black and this probably green. Or what do you guys think? This green and this black, or what do you, what do you think? You guys let me know what colors you think. Remember, I'm very traditional, like black and brown, but I want it to stand out on this. There's a pretty sea foam color. Ooh. The one you're using. And then there's a rainforest color, which is so pretty. The one you, oh, okay, got it. You're gonna love it. Uh, this is probably by far my favorite transfer um, because it comes in this one and it's just so pretty and elegant. You can do the berries, like these are meant to be berries if you wanna do the berries. Um, I'm thinking these two, but green, green this and black bow, right? Or does that sound weird? Sea foam, green for leaves, black on the bottom. Okay. Um, but this comes with the bigger, the bigger wreath, and then it comes with the smaller wreath. Okay, that makes sense. I don't have a ton of black either. I gotta get new black. What's all going to be on it, and where is it going? It's going on my stove, like a noodle board. So, like, it's a stove top covering. You can even put handles in this. That's how most of them come, but I haven't messed with that yet. You like maroon? Oh, yeah. Do I have maroon? Sea foam for bow, black wreath, sage, sorry. No, that's okay. I like this green though, but I just don't know that I would want a black bow. You know what I mean? Green and black. <laughs> the family's outside. How cute is that? Okay. So for sure I'm gonna do this green, but I just don't know about the bow. Another thing guys, is I don't know if you can tell that this bent, um, it did bend and usually when it's bent, it's like, oh no, you know, like it's not gonna work, but it's sticky. So like the bend just went away when you stick it to the adhesive. What colors are your kitchen? Girl, they're black and brown, that's it. Black and brown, that's all I do right now. Um, I don't decorate a lot just because we're moving so like, I don't spend money on decorations. I don't make anything for the house because when we build, we're gonna have a totally different um, just color scheme. So I, it's hard, it's so hard. It's hard to do be in this kind of business and not be able to show off my stuff. Um, uh, cream, let me see if I have a cream. a light gray I should like almond color so like these two that might be pretty I kind of like that all right let's start on the green and I'll figure that other part out in a little bit so yeah it try not to let your transfers bend they can roll and shape to any um any form that you've got going on but when they bend that's when it gets a little tricky Okay, brown wreath with a black bow. I want it to be, I feel like if I put brown on this, it's not gonna stand out as much. Who did, hi, Jamie. Thank you, you sound like me. I don't have any decor either. <laughs> yeah, I like the green color. Okay, let's do this then. I'll lock it, I'll lock it. Yeah, so like it's, it's rough and I keep telling my husband like, can we please move yet? But patience, right? Patience. Patience. It'll all be worth it in the end. Yay! Awesome! Everybody's getting their stuff. Mail has been taking forever in a day, guys. I'm not joking. So, like, when it says five days, it really means, like, 12. No joke. All right. So, let me get my stuff ready. Let me get my squeegees ready. And... 
And with this, guys, since we did do the little lines and stuff, you're gonna get, oh, you're gonna get the, you're gonna get those creases in there, which is gonna give you that real wood look. Your mailman bent my last, it, oh my God, was it for me? You guys, like, the accounts payable post office, office or whatever probably like hates me and they're lucky that they don't have, um, they are lucky they don't have a phone number because they mess up so many packages that I'm just like, oh my goodness, please stop. If you guys ever have an issue with your order though, please, please, please let me know so I can get it replaced for you. If it's not usable, workable, anything, let me know, okay? Because I'll definitely get it replaced for you. Um, sometimes I get reimbursed for it by them, but they usually like fight with me about it. I just want to make sure you guys can use your stuff. And then was everything okay? Okay, I'm going to stop talking and let's get started. Let's get started. Okay. Was everything okay or what? How did it? Let me know if you need something. Anytime, guys. Anytime. You just let me know. Especially if it came from me. If it came from Chocotour, that's no problem either. But especially if it came from me. And if you need something. I want to win something again. <laughs> well, just share, girl, and you can win. I usually don't do multiple giveaways, guys. But I have started doing some... Well, I do something different. You can still, you can still win something. But it won't be like a delivery. It'll be a special deal kind of deal thing so you always win no matter what no matter what I'm probably gonna peel the side up to see how it's going and then we'll especially because it's drying super duper fast I'm sure the foam is probably really soaking up that paste did you already do it Jamie did you like it how'd you like it or not yet. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh. I love it. This, you guys, I can't tell you enough how much this transfer just blows my mind every time. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay. Well, let me know, Patricia, especially because a lot of stuff goes out of stock or retires or whatever. Hey, Deborah, it didn't pop up here. Sorry. <laughs> I guess because it's an emoji or a, like the bit emoji, so it didn't pop up here. It's so pretty. I love this color, guys. All right, we're just going to let it dry. It's You can already tell it's pretty dry. This has a little gloss on it. But yeah, just let me know if you guys think or if you are worried that it may not work, just send me a message and I'll take a look at it. If it's comp like if it's bent, bent, then you may need to get it replaced, fixed. Awesome. What color do you, oh, I love the green. <laughs> it's a um, rainforest, rainforest green. And I think it's, ooh, I think it might be gone, guys. Not gonna lie. All right, so I just laid it back down. I didn't re-push it or anything like that. I just laid it back down. So I'm gonna post a deal for this transfer, guys, and probably a monogram letter because that was the idea to put the monogram letter in the middle. So that deal will go up probably later tonight, if not tomorrow. Um, just make sure you're in my VIP group because that's where I will post it. Because you got to get this one before it retires. And I'm not joking. If designers are watching, they're probably going to go buy it. Just kidding. But that's where I get my ideas from. And I go buy the things I need to make them or recreate them. What's the first initial of your last name? Okay. So this is always like a tricky one with me. Um, my last name is Piñales, okay? I am married. My husband's last name is Compian, but he has not changed. We haven't actually got officially like, we. well, we're married, okay? We're married, but we haven't had a wedding. And I told him he's not going to get away with that. Like, we're going to get married and then you're going to change my last name. So it's kind of hard that's why I've been like, oh, as much as I don't want to put, I mean, as much as I want to put a middle initial in there, I feel like, <laughs> should I, should I give him that? No, I'm just kidding. We have so many 
It was the elephant. Ooh, okay. And I've been shipping those a little bit different. I don't know why they would bend that. Like I literally put cardboard in it. I will take a picture and send you a picture. Yes, or post it in the group. So pretty. Okay, so we're just gonna finish up the bow. Um, and we'll probably put the monogram letter. We probably will. It's just one of those things that you know is gonna happen, but it hasn't yet because we have other plans first. All right, let me find my monogram letter while we let that dry. Because I'm pretty sure I have it here somewhere. And they have them in the entire alphabet. They're five by seven. There's the P. Yeah, you guys can post anything that you do in my VIP group so everybody can see, give you some props, ask you some questions on how you did it. You can share some new techniques, all the things. Let me see if I can find it. There's a T. I know it's here somewhere. Should have got it out earlier, but I wasn't sure if I was gonna put the C in there. All right, I don't know, I'll look for it right now. Let's do the bowl first. Yes, it was cardboard. Yeah, I don't know why. So they literally like bent it up and put it in your mailbox like that? All right, so then we're just gonna do the bow. All right. So I totally didn't know you were doing the letter. So I was gonna say do a letter or something like home cooked. Yeah, so instead of a letter, we could do something different. I think it looks okay. It looks cute. Look at how pretty. What? So he bent it and then he left it, <laughs> he left it at your front door. Ay, they drive me crazy. I'm sure that like at the time they're really busy and they don't understand why we don't want them to do something. Uh, but like, geez, you missed the first live. Um, yeah, you guys can go back and watch it so you can see exactly how we got this whole entire piece. I just finished this part and then we did the design. We can either put the initial or we can put like something else, like something cute on it. But I don't know, let's see. Let me close these up. No, they're never careful with packages. That's why I make sure to like put bubble wrap in there. If it's paste, it has to be like, if you guys ever get your stuff and it's like taped everywhere, it's cause I have to make sure that it doesn't pop. Um, but I already know that they're not very careful. It goes through so many hands. All right, let me see if I can find my P. If not, I mean my T. If not, I think we might. I think he tried the mailbox first. Oh my gosh. My mailman's cool. He comes and picks up all my packages, so I don't have any complaints. Um, so let me see. I really like it like this. Even just like that, we can put some handles. I think if you were to get regular handles, it would fit. Small transfer and paste and they bent mine also. I miss my old man. Really? Okay, so I think what I'm learning from this is that no more size C transfers shipped like that. They're gonna have to be in, I guess, the tubes because I'd rather them be rolled and like taped to where they can't like bend than bent. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Or I think that would be better. All right, let me just look for this. I have an N, I have an O, which I guess I could do a C out of that, but. It's here somewhere. Summertime, maybe someone filling in, maybe. Cowboy boot, 
No, we're not very cowboyish here. We live in Texas, but it's not like we live in Texas. We could do like, uh, I don't know. If I find something else, I'll put it, but maybe I'll just leave it for now until I find what I want to put there. The B and the C, I found it. So what do you guys think? C. Hi, Tim B. <laughs> so this box is heavy and it held it, so it's not too bad. Should we do the C in the middle? You can take it off so you kind of have an idea how it would look. And show him what you are doing to packages. I feel like there, I'm going to fuzz this guys because it is super duper sticky and I don't want it to peel up any of this on here. So I'm just going to fuzz it pretty good. Um, honestly, I feel like they're so busy that there's no way for them to just like, like there's nothing, <laughs> there's no way that they're going to be more careful. Oh my goodness. So super sticky. Let's fuzz it up. We have been together almost 13 years, three kids, and many dogs later, but not officially married, but he's my husband. Yeah. So us two, and like, I know it's going to happen, but I, I guess we're kind of doing things totally backwards. <laughs> so it is what it is. I've known him since I was 21. I met him when I, um, separated from my, my first, um, he wasn't, we weren't married, but so I've known him for a very long time. Okay. Plus, if you ask me to stay home, man, <laughs> better wife me up. Ship with, what? Ship with foam core is, it's light and hard to bend. Ah, that's true. That's a good idea. All right. What do you guys think? Should we put the C or leave it? I think we should put it. Mine was little. He just didn't realize. Yeah, I'm sure they don't. But like, if you're pack, if you're like, if. If I shipped it in a nine by 13 envelope, you've got to know that I wanted it to be in a nine by 13 envelope. Brittany, did you do the bow? Yes, I did the bow. This one, right? So you guys think we should put the C? I kind of like it. So the monogram letters are the five by seven and that will be the deal that I put up. It'll be paired with this and this or either or. Yeah, put the C. All right, let's do it. That's gonna go in black, I think. Black or the cream color again. They're very limited. Oh, yeah, definitely. Put it, leave it, put it. Okay, cool. Black or the... I think we need the black for sure. Never mind. Forget I was asking that. Oh, I got the wrong color. I think it's going to look good. And then you can put some handles. I think I have handles somewhere. I love it. This is so cool, guys. And the entire thing costs like maybe... Well... If you don't include the fact that I had to go buy new paints, it was like $2, which is really awesome. Yeah, I think the black too. I definitely, you should do a big C and then um, a little B and a little H on either side. Oh, that's a good idea. We can do that. We can. My black paste is on its last leg. If you guys are just now popping on, make sure to share the video and comment below so you can get entered to win. Black cream kind of blends. Yeah, it does a, it does a little bit. Cream handles. All right, let me do, let me just clean off my squeegee really quick. And if you guys are wondering what the heck, <laughs> we just did this foam board. Um, well, this noodle board out of foam core boards. Super cool. I'm super glad we did this. So I have another sign making thing we'll be doing. Hopefully I can get it ready tomorrow. You guys know that I usually don't try things until they come on. What? That's so weird. Hi, Carly. How did your live go? Thank you, Miss Terry. Yeah, guys, just comment, share, and I'll be picking winners. We'll actually pick the winners in the beginning of the live tomorrow. I'm just going to write everybody's name down, and then we'll pick a couple winners, one or two winners. All right. How did that happen? It's like bad luck or something. My bad luck? See, it's super sticky. That's why we fussed it. 
but it didn't pull up any paint. Oh, I love it just like that. It's perfect. Did you do great? Did you sell all, all kinds of stuff? All right, so then I'm just gonna put this back. I don't have a water bath ready, otherwise I would show you guys how I clean it. But I just use water, cold water, and a board eraser, which is just like a sponge, and that's it. Thank you, Miss Krista. Yeah, guys, make sure that you comment below. I know I'm so sorry I didn't call you. Um, we were out all day, literally all day. Um, make sure you comment below if you shared so that I can get your name entered to win. Make sure to like and follow the page. And then, yeah. So you can see how it kind of goes in just like wood. You would never know that this is not wood, guys. It's freaking awesome. So I will probably look for some handles. I think I have some here. Um, and then I will put this up and I will uh, I will post it so you guys can see how it looks in my oven, in my, oven my little area. Um... Can you do a transfer over something you have already chalked on to make a shadow effect? Yeah, of course you can. Honestly, whenever you guys have an idea, run with it. There is so many different things that you can do. And yes, yes, you can. I have seen people do it. But if you're going to be whack, if you're going to be putting it over the same layer, make sure that it's super dry and you wax it just a little bit. So that way you don't pull up any paint. Um... Who's new? Welcome, Angie. Thanks for watching. Um, I didn't put any names in, Tara. I'm actually just going to put everybody's names in, and then I'll pick it tomorrow. Um, I picked Gabby Gomez today, so I'm just going to um, message her. It's raining and thundering. That's crazy. You shaved, Tara? I haven't shaved in a while. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I knew what you meant. Um, what if you did family and cursive over the C? You know what? I've done it before and I didn't really like it. I don't know if it's because this C is only about um, this big, like yay so. <laughs> so I didn't like, I felt like it needed to be bigger. So that's why I probably won't do that. All right, guys, if you have any questions, um, I'm just kidding. I was totally messing with you. Uh, if you have any questions, comment down below or send me a message. If you want information on how to do what I'm doing today, comment info. If you want to get the deal, um, if you want to get the deal on this vintage laurel wreath and the monogram, comment VIP so you can get into my VIP group because I'll be posting that either tonight or tomorrow. Um, yeah, so Stephanie, you want to wax lightly over what you just did. So like, let's say I'm going to layer, I'm going to do a shadow on this. I would actually wax it. Just a quick wax, okay? Nothing like, you don't want to re-wet it and wipe it and do all this stuff. Just a quick wax and then you go over it again. It's really just going to protect that paste from your transfer since they're so sticky. If you need help, message me, okay? And I'll, and I'll help you out with it. Um, other than that, guys, I will see you later. See you tomorrow. Same time. Bye.